Good morning. Aloha kakahiaka. Good morning. Hey, Maximum flight altitude reached. In Hana on Maui. I'm here with Sark Wetzel. Legendary canoe builder paddler. Extraordinaire. I don't know about that. But We're here <laughs> with Mikala Bradley. The, Hello. the secretary. Gully boy or salty captain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kenji Kosada with Ocean Pilot TV. Cameraman extraordinaire. And myself, Joan Pilot. <clears throat> We're just gonna come to you guys today for fun again, just for fun. We're just about to start the second leg of this weekend. Tell me about it, Sark. What's happening here today? Uh, today is the second leg of the uh, of the of the of the, of the race. Um, first race of the season for Hawaiian Sailing Canoe Association. So this race is going from Hana Bay to Kahului Harbor down the beautiful coastline. Uh, I guess it's about 40 miles. Uh, trade winds conditions are good we should have some really good conditions and uh ideal for these canoes for surfing capabilities and uh should be a great day really looking forward to it cool how many canoes do we have how competitive is this race today are we looking for some good action when we get closer to kahului well that's a for sure uh once we get closer to kahului outside jaws area it's really uh famous for you know the, the, the surfing capabilities of the canoe so we'll, we'll see some really good speeds as they come around that part of the race um, the swells are really uh, well situated for these canoes um, and uh, you know as long as more than two canoes it's always a race but these guys are serious so you know these guys are real competitive but it, but they are but they are still a family you know um, so what happened last night? Where did we come from last night, yesterday, and how? Where did we spend the night? What happened here? Was that special? We left from the Big Island. We towed the boats up from Kau from uh, Kauai High Harbor, and went up to Mupolu Point and let go and sailed across the channel. A uh, really good day, um, really good conditions, um, and then we all stayed in Hana and had a great time. And, uh, getting ready to start here. Yeah, I can camp out at uh, James' place. Yeah, What's great spot, James's. Uh, Freudenberger Poo, right? That's his last name. Um, Freudenberg, yeah. Yeah, he has a beautiful spot, just beautiful spot. just on the east side here of Hana, yeah. right yeah, by the water. We got to camp over there, which is Mahalos. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very, very awesome. nice. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, these guys. Let me know when they go start. Blow the horn. Oh, good. Okay, here we go. All right, so like, uh, this is how many miles today, you think? And uh, what do we say it is? 40? Oh, there's, there's a start. There's a start. They started. And it is 9.37 a.m. 9.37. So we're looking at, I would say, about three hours maybe today. Okay. Three and a half hours, three hours. Uh-huh. We'll see how it goes. Maybe faster. This is, like I said, ideal sailing conditions for these canoes. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, look at this, what you see here. It's like Olukai is in the front already, right? They won yesterday. Yesterday's result was Team Olukai, Team Kanapali Beach Resort, Maui Gym, followed by Hui Nalu, and um, Oahe went in fifth, correct? Good job, guys. Right on. <laughs> and they're off. They're beautiful. Doesn't get much better to start a race in Hana Bay, is it, sir? No, it doesn't. It's just absolutely perfect. This is what what, what this is for, you know. Just the perfect conditions. Yeah, race starting, leaving Hana. Next stop, Kahului. Kahului. So. The first leg of this race here, Sark, tell me a little bit about it. Is this more lighter winds? Is there more paddling involved here? Um, well, as they, they got to paddle to get around this point here, so it's going to be a paddle battle upwind until they can clear the point, and then they're going to turn down, and they should be right into the waves and the, and the wind. They should have a really good angle going all the way down the coast of Hana. Nice. Now tell me about the construction on, on these canoes. 
Are these, those traditional six-man canoes? They, they are. This is, they, they're, uh, these are all designed for paddling originally, and they've, they've uh, adapted and, and uh, built specialized equipment to become a sailing canoe. Um, you know, obviously the, the outriggers are going to have to be um, more seaworthy and bigger to handle the, um, the you know, sailing across the channel. And, uh, all have uh, customized spray covers to keep the water out. Most of them have a drain, a one-way valve, which sucks the waters through the boat. So it keeps it, as long as the boat is going five knots, it you know, drains the water, comes out. It's a real important safety feature that um, has been uh, made. Um, uh, everybody safe, you know, keeps the water out. I'm assuming the yakos are way longer than the your traditional yako. You need yeah, more, more yeah. room, right? Yeah. So because we have two outriggers, you know, you're gonna have a bit larger set of yakos that has to span both sides of the, of the canoe. Usually about four feet on the left side, and then the rest of the they're 16 feet long, basically. The yakos. Um, and then you know all the wooden pieces for to hold the sail, the mast, boom. Those are all. Um, built with really strong uh, construction. But it's all wood, right? We're not yeah. using composite materials. This is pretty traditional then, right? The yeah. way you put these yeah. together. Yeah, this is all, these are all uh, within specs, you know, for the Sailing Canoe Association. And I believe it has to be all uh, wood construction. Um, you know, opposed to the like, carbon fiber mass or something. You know, yeah. Other canoes do have, but all these are like tradition in the traditional category. Yeah, looking good, you guys. Yeah, looks like we got Team Olokai here. Uh, paddle and sail power. They're going for it. They got some some hammers in there, right? Yeah. Going for it. They definitely do. They're, they're the team to beat for sure. But there's there's. Going to be some uh, some game today. It's really, everybody's got really good equipment and got good sailors and good paddlers. So it should be pretty close. So, question for you: If the wind comes from the other side, are you able to rig this canoe the other way or not? Sure. You are, yeah. It's, yeah. It's pretty well. It depends. Yeah. But most of the time, it's rigged on the on the starboard side, whereas a paddling canoe would be rigged on the port side. Yeah, you could change it if you want. Most of, most of the time, it's, it's like this. Yeah, it's trade wind conditions. That's what yeah. we have, right? Yeah. yeah. This is what we wait for, you know. We uh, had to postpone this race two weeks ago because the conditions were, were a little too much past our threshold of safety. Um, this is just right. So everything worked out. point has been updated please check it on the map it was a fast ride yesterday wasn't it I mean, what was it like to be just and, uh, just the sea uh, channel has its own, their own characteristics uh, and, uh, yesterday's was, was, was pretty 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 uh, typical of all the new channel uh, you know it was Faster than every an hour and a half. Crazy, yeah. That is. Uh, we did 22. That was 40. Oh no, total was 40. But we yesterday till we in an hour and 20 minutes we were past midpoint. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. We're mid channel. Yeah. An hour and 20 minutes. Here's a beautiful Hana coastline. Gorgeous. Look at this. I mean, now we're looking towards. Towards the west, we're looking towards Kahului, right? Yeah. We're almost out to the point where Olukai is going to turn downwind and just take off. And we're lucky today, aren't we? Typically, I mean, from the races I've seen, and tell me if this is normal, that kind of early morning, there's no wind usually over here, is there? It takes a while for it to fill in. But uh, as we all know, Maui is one of the most windier, windier places in the world because of the way the volcanoes are situated. Creates that Venturi effect, right? Yeah. 
Vortec. The Maui Vortec. Anyway, here we go. Look at they're really close to the to the rocks, to the surf. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that is kind of crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh, let's go take a look at these guys. We're coming in here. Sark, you can analyze the shot. What do you think is happening here? They're trying to get out of the fastest point. They're timing it with the swirls. Beautiful. Yeah. So a good mix of, of sailing power and paddle power right now, right? Yep, sure is. These, these sailing canoes really do make a difference once you, once you get paddling it. Uh, paddle, people paddling really makes it noticeably faster. And these are some of just, the these are some of the best paddlers in the state that they yeah, come out they here get, with, right? They, they, they tend to uh, recruit top bad three really good paddlers, and then the rest, the other three, would be real solid sailors, all around watermen, and be able to steer. The idea is to have like everyone in the crew be competent at like, steering, sailing, paddling, okay. being able to fix something if it breaks. Yeah. And here it comes. Oh yeah. Wow. So that's James steering Maui Jim, going right up, right by the rocks. Mr. James Brown, right? And then we got. Oh Leah. no, James! No, sorry, that's James, James Freudenberger. Yeah, Ooh, the hot where we stayed at. Yeah. And then we got Leon steering today for a bike as well. Yeah, we're right here with him. Good. Okay. Yeah, let's make our way to the front here. And then the next one in line would be, let's see who's this. Would that be Ray Glauja on the Kanapali yep. Beach Resort? Yep, that's the Maui crew. It's the Maui crew, they're contenders to, to win any time. They're really captained by a really competent um, sailor paddler and they recruit good paddlers from Island of Maui mostly. Canoe is represents an island, kind of, you know, and ten of the captains from those islands, from those canoes, 